Hello everyone. It's been a while since I've posted a video, um, but I remembered that I forgot to post a video about chest x-rays. So um, this video is about chest x-rays. Uh, it's another pretty simple, straightforward test. I mean, if you've had an x-ray, you kind of know what to expect. Um, if you haven't had an x-ray then um, on anything before, then um, this, vi this video will explain a little bit about uh, a chest x-ray. So um, it's basically just like having any other x-ray done. So you're gonna go, let's pretend that they, the doctor is telling you to go someplace to get the chest x-ray done. Or if you're in a hospital and you have to, you get it done there. Um, so you're gonna go, you're gonna, the, the tech will call you back and you go back to the x-ray room. And uh, basically, you're gonna stand, uh, there's gonna be a little square box on a wall and um, that's the box that you're gonna stand in front of. The tech will place you face forward, like in front of the box, so you're looking at the box. Um, they'll adjust, there'll be a, a way to adjust it most likely. Um, either you know up or down and it'll go even so that your chin rests here so that the box can be flush against your chest. Um, so they don't want you to be like this or like this, you know, they want you to, to sit comfortably on your hand there. I'm not your hand, the box. Um, so once you are resting comfortably, they're gonna tell you your arms will probably be down at your side and they're gonna tell you they're gonna go around to the back and um, wherever they're gonna click to take the picture from. And they'll tell you to take a deep breath so you take a deep breath and then hold it and they'll take the picture. And once they click that picture, they'll tell you, you got to hold still when you take that deep breath. Once they click that picture, then you can breathe. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you, sometimes they'll make you wear like a little apron. Um, you put that over your stomach, um, especially like if you're younger and stuff so that you don't get radiation. It's less radiation, um, especially in women, I guess maybe so that if they, uh, want to have children when they get older it's you know less radiation to that area I don't know um, so so after you take the front chest x-ray what they'll do is they'll make you take one um, on the side so what they'll do is then you're gonna turn like let's pretend the box is here you're gonna turn this way and you're gonna stand up against that that chest uh, against that little black box and most likely you'll have to lift your arm and then this will go flesh up against that box and you'll have your arm lifted and you'll take, they'll tell you to look forward to take a deep breath again. So you take a deep breath and you hold it and then they click the picture and they'll tell you, okay, breathe. And then you breathe. Um, that is it. Basically they do, uh, every time I've ever had a chest x-ray, they only do the two images. They'll take another one, I guess, if the picture doesn't come out right or, or whatever. But usually it's only the two images that you take, the front and the side. I don't know if I've ever had one where my back is up against it. Maybe I have. Um, I'm just only remembering the two images right now, but I mean, they might make you turn around and then put your back up against it and then take a deep breath, hold it and take the picture. Um, and then once you're done, you're done. Uh, usually every time I've had a chest x-ray, they make me put a robe on or a gown, a hospital gown or one of those types of things. Um, and you take, you have to take your earrings off and all that kind of stuff. But chest x-rays don't normally hurt. They're another test that's pretty simple. Um, the only time that they do hurt, be prepared, is after an open heart surgery. Um, I've had to have a chest x-ray and an echo once after my open heart surgery. And that is the most difficult thing in the world because they want you to stand there and lift your arm and lifting your arm is so painful. It's like, you can't even get your arm up there. I mean, it just, it hurts so bad, okay? And then they want you to take a deep breath. And this is about the extent of the deep breath that you could take. That's it, not even that deep. It's like, because you can't, breathe you can't take a deep breath it's like every rib in your body has been broken so it's very hard to take a deep breath so having a chest x-ray done and in, is very painful um and then also laying down on to have an echo done that was crazy insane and that was pretty painful too because they want you to lay flat and you just had an open heart surgery and you're like yeah that ain't that ain't happening <laughs> i can't lay flat i can't even stand up straight right now um so yeah, it was pretty interesting when I had to have that done um, before 
I left the hospital when I was 17. Um, but yeah, so having one of those done after open heart surgery is pretty painful. So if you're having this chest x-ray done before an open heart surgery or because your doctor just wants to get it checked out or you're in the hospital and they want to see, um, I guess, Sometimes they take it because they want to see if your lungs are fluid with, filled with fluid or if you're, there's fluid around your heart or there's multiple reasons to get a chest x-ray done. Um, so whatever reason they're making you get the chest x-ray done, it doesn't hurt at all if you're healthy, if you can breathe properly. If it doesn't hurt to breathe, then you're pretty good when you take that deep breath in. Um, the only time it's going to hurt is after you've been cut open, ripped apart, and sewed back together. Um, yeah, but then it's not so easy um so but if it's not if it's before that you're good to go um again i mean that's i'm running out of videos to post because i'm running out of tests to talk about i could talk about stress tests but i've never actually had a stress test before so if i do that video it would have to be not that i've lived it but what i've learned about it and i don't know if i want to do a video like that because they're all supposed to be what i've lived so um, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. Uh, I, I don't get to, the, get to answering very fast, um, but I will get to it and I will reply. Um, if you have any comments, feel free to do that. Um, if you want to um, subscribe to my page, uh, you can go to my channel and check out all the other videos. I, I'm running out of things to post, so I may just end up posting about my past experiences um, because it might be a couple more years until I have to have another open heart surgery, who knows. Um, so I can't really post about that process yet. Um, so I may just post about like past experiences. Um, all right. So thank you for watching this video and, uh, hopefully I'll post another one within, you know, the not so distant future. Okay. Thank you so much.